Big Cancer, how about a reading from your metal dog? I've been having a few false starts here and I'm going to go ahead and go with what my intuition tells me, which is that you need a reading here from the sexual tarot or the tarot of intimate stuff, you know, what is it called? Here it is. The tarot of sexual magic. Very white, better, very hetero, and yet very hot um, all the same. So, so Cancer, your Scorpio here, your Scorpio queer will give you a reading uh, from this here deck. And we'll just see what happens. The reading for today is a is a release, embrace, revisit what you what is hidden from you and what the outcome may be should you choose to take the advice of the cards today. All right, let's see. We're going to cut this here deck. Okay. Very unlikely my mom will watch this reading. Um, isn't that funny that I, I think about that? Okay, it'll probably be like super vanilla. All right, so you are to release the magician. Some hunky manifester. You trying to manifest something like this person feels like they are putting a huge amount of will into making real the world that they want. So if you have that going on, like, like I've seen many magician cards. Where's the pentacle? We get the. I'm not even seeing the pentacle here, unless it's that's what it is on the table, like drawn into the table. Anyway, so there's, um, he's got this massive sword and wand. He's ready to make it happen. There's the cup, and um, yeah, I'm actually. But the magician has all the tools, and can make real in the world what they envision so the cards are saying it's time to release that whether that's a behavior a mindset a person we will see you are to embrace the seven of swords so this is it looks like a tough conversation a break in the intimacy here seven of swords is about not is about being secretive and closed um so you're actually being told to embrace that in some way. So we will look further at that. Um, Relooking here at the Four of Wands. Wow. Yeah. You might want to relook at this hot sex life with your true mate. I mean, the Four of Wands is everything is up on the surface. Looks like a little penetration from behind. Um, it's just a really fun time um, with a person who's uh, creative, is your match. Uh, you get to be yourself, completely open with this person. Um, there's a kind of, yeah, it's a very match, match, mirroring card. And um, yeah, so we will find out more about what, what's going on here, about why you want to relook at that. Um, definitely need clarification. All right. So hidden influence here is judgment. Um, this looks very much like a family. This is a card of ascension where you rise above um, to your best self. It's a very family image here. Looks like a binding ceremony, like a pagan ceremony of binding, to, which... Is a yearly ritual of, um, but yeah, on Judgment Day, some are chosen to ascend, and and it's based on your earthly works. Um, so that's something that is in play here that the tarot wants you to know. And fifthly, we have the need for a changed um, perspective here. This is your future self in the Hanged Man. So your. Should you take the advice of this reading, you end up here. Looks like really kind of opening your mind, surrendering for sure um, to to this sort of the universe is what you surrender to, and until you see things from that other vantage point. And so from 
So getting there in the future, it looks like some kind of surrender, which is quite different from what you're told here is what you need to release, which is the, sort of the opposite of the hanged man. This is a the magician's very much the agent of history here. Um, so why are you being told to embrace the difficult state of the seven of swords, this interrupted intimacy, and relook at what looks like a really great relationship to me. Um, yeah, and there's something here that you're not paying attention to that has to do with being your better selves, like this more, maybe, maybe your coupledom is just too um, codependent or something here. Um, we will, we will see. Um, on the bottom of the deck, Justice, the Three of Pentacles. I'll come back to this. There's a lot going on here on the bottom of this deck. Um, let's go ahead and clarify with the Dark Tarot here. See what we've got going here, Cancer. Why are you being told to release this magician? The state of being, this philosophy, or a person that you identify with the magician here. <sighs> Let's see, we have the Hierophant. Some, some suggestion of Structural power, I, uh, yeah, learning a teacher. I feel very, it feels very hierarchical um, in a way because the dragon is teaching her with through books. But the Hierophant is yes, no, um, real clear cut Taurian, Taurus energy, earthy kind of fixed, can be stubborn. I feel, I feel like there's some kind of control that needs to be, you know, you need to be just like relax and open up somehow to, um, you know, we get a 10 of pentacles. Another kind of like super powerful dude with her standing in the background. There's lots of um, this powerful physical, sword carrying magician energy and then we kind of see this woman who's to the side of that or or beneath that or in some way subject to that and then here is what you're supposed to embrace there's another card for your embrace the seven of swords here these three women of the moon um they, look, they have like a little vampire thing going here so the mystery is there's a mystery here and you're supposed to look at this mystery everything seems very out on on the surface right that's why you're re-looking at the four of wands everything is really out on the surface you think but there's a secret here that you are needing to to know and it's very much you're being guided by these three Seven of Swords, these are your, these are, they want to guide you to look. This very much seems to be a moon journey here. So looking into the darkness, looking into something that you're not wanting to look at needs to be looked at here. Um, it has to do with this sword. We're seeing this sword come up repeatedly. This is the same card, the Seven of Swords, and um, there is that sword. Um your partner has something going on that you need to know about. And you're going, you need to be guided by it. And it's being hidden behind like a big show of bluster, of force, of power. Maybe almost being intimidated out of knowing this thing that, but so these, um, these ladies are showing up to guide you through this and support you in knowing this so we get this embrace so what is it 
that you need to embrace here. Asking this question, um, the devil. Some kind of, because I look at this fella, he seems very um, womanly in his posture. He is hiding something from her, his, um, his truth in some way. And she's offended, right? So it's causing a rift between you that there's a secret. Um, it's very hard for this person to put that, all that power and that sword, that weapon, or that intellect. So they might be quite intellectual, right? We can kind of see that this here, that this fellow in the front, like with his sword, like he's very intimidating and he, this is the a 10 of pentacles. So this is kind of supposed to be like an ideal of security and abundance and wealth. I find it to be quite unattractive. It's very much like this big macho man protecting this person who's just sort of in the background. Um, there's also a kind of process here that the woman in that card we just looked at, she seems to be getting divine support, divine information. She's looking, she's doing her research here somehow. Um, she's got maybe an outside influence. If it's you or... Um, but I feel like this it, this magician is a person in your life and they're doing a lot of being big and um, hiding their secret, which is represented by the sword. And you need to know what that is, but you're you're intimidated about you're intimidated by this person. You're supposed to be intimidated here. This person's doing a lot of physical um, signing to you that you shouldn't ask this. But this uh, what you want to embrace is like your partner, your person, somebody, this person with a secret. They um, they're very vulnerable when they put down the sword that protects that secret. Okay, interesting. So let's see, let's find out more about what you're to embrace here. The Seven of Cups, there's a lot of choices seemingly, but this is a card also of illusions and projections. Um, I feel how she is behind the mask there. She's kind of coming out from behind the mask. That's what I sense here, that you're supposed to embrace something from your moon journey. And it could be yours or your partner's or someone in your life has a secret. Um, maybe it's you with the big with the big energy with the sword. Uh, maybe this is just you and you and your higher power here. Let's see. What else? Okay, there's the moon. Yay, I just feel like the cards are like, you're right, Heather. The moon. So a moon journey that you need to go on to get beneath this facade. Um, there's some reason why, if this is another person who's keeping a secret from you, it's because you haven't looked at your own secret. And that's why you're being guided here with the Seven of Swords to look into your own moon journey. And this is very um, much secret in the darkness, um, it's it can be a place you don't want to look, but it's very, very transformative and powerful to look there um, so that you can take off your mask here, right? So you can come out from behind projections and illusions, able to choose and to know who you are, right? And Okay, let's keep looking. This is fascinating. Another seven, wow. Three sevens here on the table. Um, so we get here the seven of pentacles. Um, such an interesting, so she's transparent here. So you put in the work. The seven of pentacles is you put in the work. It takes a while. You have to wait. It can be kind of stagnant. The image is of a person who's transparent. So I feel like this is, to be, the, the being transparent is really important because we have this process of going on a moon journey of looking inward um, or your partner or someone in your life that has a secret 
there's a clear secret here. And so to move into being transparent shows me that when you embrace this, there's a feeling of discord between you two, but in fact, um, all you need to do is just be open. And there may be something about something that you need to look at in yourself that is preventing your person or yourself from coming out here with, with the truth. Um, it's a very vulnerable truth, but we can see once you embrace that, then you, once you put in the work here, and a moon journey is work. Uh, it's like looking inward, that things will become transparent. And so you'll, you'll begin to see through the facade here that is represented in the Seven of Cups by that mask that she is lifting up there. She looks quite scary, and that's that kind of gets me back to the sort of intimidating presence of what you want to release. Um, so take off that scary posture, that scary mask, and be vulnerable. That's what the, the cards say. And go, in order to do that, you obviously need to look at what you're afraid of. of, of. That's why you're putting on this posture of, of being really physically imposing. I do this actually, I, it's making me think about, I had a massage with this really kind person and I was nervous and like I had to wear a mask and I breathed, I couldn't breathe in the mask because I was so anxious because it's been, um, cause I mean, I have pain, I need help and it's hard for me to ask for help. But what I could tell from how she responded to me that I was coming across as big and, and I felt scared um, and I needed help. And, um, and she's just like this gentle being who, I mean, I can tell, like I can be intimidating. I'm not really that, I'm not really big. I'm not feeling big, but would I look big when I feel, when I feel like this, All right? So instead of being big and, and imposing and, and don't you dare know me and help me um, to be vulnerable, that's what the cards are very simply telling you to do. Okay, realize it took a lot for me to get that message through to you, but it's clearly facing really deep, significant fears. Uh, a moon journey is no joke, okay? So we're re-looking here at what is on the surface. Um, you know, I know the image is like really great um, sex on a swing, <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, what a, what appearances are not really kind of, they're not, there's something beneath appearances here. This is a four of wands is stable on the surface. It looks ideal. Sometimes it is a, a marriage. Um, and if there are secrets in your marriage that people are afraid to deal with and come clean about, that makes sense that we want to relook at that here. But let's see. I mean, marriage or your relationship or something that appears totally so out on the surface that you can just relax in it. There, there's something to look at here again. Okay, so there is somebody here in this seeming four of wands is feeling a five of pentacles left out, um, isolated, abandoned. There's a, an abandonment feeling here. Is that you or, or your person? Um, and then there is a four of swords, which is a retreat into healing. Somebody is, yeah, they're going through a process. It's not a comfortable process. This is the, this, whoever this is, that's who we're, we're looking at here. This person here in the front. The sweet little tied up in a knot lover that you've turned your back to. Or if you're this one, you know, this is, it feels like it's someone, it feels like you're not seeing somebody suffering and needing to heal. Um, <laughs> what is going on in this Four of Swords here? What is, she's resting, right? Because this Four of Swords is about resting. I think she's resting because she killed that beast. 
Um, Four of Swords is, it follows a Three of Swords, a kind of betrayal, a broken heart. So it makes sense to rest after you've had your heart broken. After you slayed a monster is, is the image here. Um, and finally, the King of Swords. Yeah, this is so much about truth, the power of the truth. So here's the truth, the King of Truth himself. Very Lots of clarity, wisdom, you know, he's the kind of, you know, he's, yeah, he has slayed this monster. He's gone on the moon journey. He's looked inside. He knows his secret. Um, kings can be not very forthcoming about their secret. Um, if you are in something kind of new and it's it's looking like, there's um you've hit a little rocky place here um you don't know something about your person or they don't know something about you it feels more like somebody else but they've gone through something you know in order to have a real four of wands real intimate fun connection you do want to ask and you do want to know what have what have you come through to become you know how what do you know of yourself and i think it's it's coming through to me that you cancer need to know yourself so that you can be honest enough with your partner maybe your truth will help them be open or your friend i think because i have this sexual magic deck here it, look, it looks very much like a personal romantic relationship um but these are this is a hero's journey partly because we're using the dark tarot and there's all of these awesome heroic characters in it but they're almost everybody has a sword it is a truthy deck uh, because of that but this is no doubt somebody left out somebody slayed the monster of their pain and they have a truth and it's deep and they don't open up about it okay they might have abandonment issues that are coming up in your relationship, and that's very common, or you do, or you both do. Okay, what the cards want you to know is judgment, this higher self, to rise to your higher self. Commonly coming through right now in my readings that people are getting really bogged down in this sort of coupledom, they need to look outside of that to a higher purpose and that in the higher purpose they will find their true love um their i mean this is such a funny happy little family here on judgment day um ow. okay what else do we want to know the Hanged Man. This is the same card that you get for your future. This is you hanging upside down until you see things differently. This is surrender. So this is your future self. That's the card The card we see here. Looks a lot more fun unless you're into BDSM. And then this is a hot fantasy too. Um, yeah, you might as well enjoy surrender, I say. Um Wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll find out more here. <laughs> the sun, your absolute happiness, your full this is a authenticity. I feel like this just reinforces what I've already told you, but I will come back and, and explain what I see. And finally, a knave of pentacles. Just a really nice new... 3D physical start. Um, nothing big. Starts nice and small. Um, also indicates, because we see a kid here too, children, inner children. Um, a moon journey, quite, that makes quite good sense to have an inner child. Like a childhood experience is very much like behind feelings of five of pentacles abandonment being um he, so you could be like so 
in love. So in a four of wands situation, but because you come into it with abandonment issues, um, your experience of that relationship is that you go constantly over and over through a three of swords, then a four of swords, and it's making you or your partner be really austere, up in their head, intellectual, um, kind of grim and defended maybe. Um, so you're being told to look at this and, and to become transparent so that you and your partner, so really I think so that you can ascend to this ideal. But there is like in this image, there is a kid and it could be your child or your partner's child or your inner child or your partner's inner child or both, um, right? So, so when there's the, the little ones in us present, um, which is reiterated here by the Knave of Pentacles, it's another card of, of the child, of youth, of, of um, young ones. Um, yeah, so when you do this journey, um, it takes you to authenticity, um, which is a part of the sun, the true authenticity that you think you already have in what you're looking, re-looking at, which is this four of wands. You think you are already in an intimate, authentic, fun relationship where everybody is themselves. There's actually a lot going on beneath the surface that you and your person one or both of you needs to open up about a secret and it looks to me like it makes it easier on the two of you if you both look into your darkness and come and face it and um, and share that with one another um, and then you get to have to ascend here to the true intimacy here represented in this judgment card it's a process of surrendering it's a process of looking at your past, at your young self, um, in order to really become your full authentic self. Like she has wings, she can fly. Um, the sun is the ultimate happiness card. There's surrender possible. And, and thinking again like about my massage story like when you surrender when you let somebody help you and you admit um, you feel vulnerable instead of being all posturing and big um, then you get the help that you need and that's what your future is um, is the hangman is is surrender and the restfulness and the joyfulness of being really comfortable in your vulnerability um yeah that's just such a sweet encounter there where she feels so good in her body and he is looking at her um passionately um but she's very safe and that's what i think can happen here to move from to that from this this is how you are with the world with your people with your lover and you can move into being this, or your lover can be like that through this journey, which is a journey of intimacy, of, of opening up about your darkness, about your secrets, about what you've suffered and what you fear. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful advice for you. Let's find out more about the future if we can. This lovely, pleasurable surrender, okay? There's a three of wands. This is waiting for your ships to come in. This is the manifester, the magician that we left behind in the beginning um, is able to await and be sure that what you wish for is indeed coming in. A two of wands, there is you or your person envisioning that, um, that manifestation a new world. It's such an interesting representation of that because what 
what she's doing is she's looking out of the old thing that burned down. It's just the city has burned and she's looking out over it. I love her posture with her very phallic sword. You know, she's got power. <laughs> she is envisioning what the world's going to look like when it, when, you know, like a phoenix, you rise from the ashes of, of the past, the, the thing that ended. Uh, which I think is this seeming, this Four of Wands, the seeming intimacy that is in fact hiding so much really important truths. Um, and there in the future, return to the magician. That is so cool. The first and the last card are the same. So it isn't about... Um, whether or not you are a manifester or a magician or that you're having this ideal world that you want, that you want to make this four of wands, lovers, um, intimacy. Um, it's just that you have to put down like all of the big um, scary posturing or your partner needs to. Somebody needs to put down the armor, the defense, and they need to do their inner work where they need to tell the, their other about that inner work. And then you still get to be, all three cards here in the future show you or your person, there's surrender here, but there is still this incredibly powerful ability to manifest and make the world that you want to, to live in, this um, beautiful relationship. Um, let's see, the truth there um, to confirm <laughs> I am right that ace of swords hmm. yeah and the ten of swords there's some serious heartbreak that is behind this need so somebody well, this is just so common in what is like a newish relationship but it can also be like two years in and <laughs> Trust me, I know. And um, somebody's got a deep pain that they um, that is really underlying all the time. The way that they're acting within this relationship that these cards tell a story about. Um, the other deck underlying, we have Justice. Um, again... A representation of having the truth and finding balance um, between the two of you that's real. Um, this um, three of pentacles, again, like the, the difference in strength here, uh, very lovely idea here. Three of pentacles is building something in the 3D together. It's a real thing. Um, the Six of Swords, it takes, again, like a changed perspective. Uh, they're having sex outside. Take it outside. That's the advice there. Um, there's the Seven of Cups, which came up for you here as the mask. Uh, this, is, this is in your embrace. It comes up here as well. Um... I don't know. <laughs> just looks nice. <laughs> well, I don't, sometimes, so let's see, what am I looking at here? Um, there's a turtle. <laughs> it's like he's sitting on her lap. I don't know. I don't know. So take what you will. I feel like this reading is for somebody who's straight and you're getting it from your queer reader. <laughs> Um, so it, it doesn't have to be the, a straight relationship, um, it says the imagery is quite straight seeming to me, very hetero. Um, and so I'm like, what's happening here? I, um, but there's a lot of sex. You're having a lot of sex with somebody. <laughs> it's very physical. It's very, yeah, it's very much all the physical without the intimate. Intimacy is possible here. Um, but if you think you're in a four of wands, you 
you were just actually having a lot of great sex. Um, and you can get down into like, who are you and who am I and real intimacy with this person. And it looks like you're still powerful when you're vulnerable is part of this. Um, when you are open up and make a, the sun happiness, get into surrender here. Um, you're, it's just, when you're just having a lot of physical encounters, um, where your relationship is based on sex, on the physical, um, but there's no doubt there's a lot about the physical, but you can find balance between the physical and the, the truth here. And I do think that's like a great message for you, straight Cancerian or queer Cancerian, to get from a queer tarot reader, a lesbian. Um, you know, they always joke that women talk and process too much. The fact is, two gay girls can get just as tied up in not opening up, um, not knowing who they are enough to be undefended and intimate in in their relationship as as it's not a venus mars issue here this is two humans who have a history who um, can open up to one another and have ascend to a much higher level of intimacy and pleasure from opening up here so thank you for giving me the opportunity to carry this message for you cancer um i hope you take the advice here because i think looking inward and opening up to your partner and letting your partner feel safe to be vulnerable with you will um it looks lovely where it, it takes you so uh, let them show you their poor little broken heart you got hurt you got hurt and these ten of swords things unresolved will prevent you from having true joy and pleasure, even though it looks like you're ha currently having a very great physical relationship. So, in time. Okay, good luck.